What's up, guys and gals? Balls Hog here again. I got into Player Unknown's Battlegrounds pre alpha build. Man, this game is fucking good, brothers. It's more of a realistic kind of game. Like, as everybody knows, I'm big on H1Z1. I love H1Z1. I will never stop playing H1Z1, I don't think. But this game here has so much to offer. I, I can see myself playing this game just as much as I play H1Z1 in the future, anyways. But this is a pre alpha build, so a lot of things are glitchy. Like, the FPS was really hard on me. I, I played three or four or five games, maybe, with the shadows on, and then I found out how to turn shadows off, and then the shadows off helped me out a lot in this game. But, anyways. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I'm going to make two or three more of these videos of the playing through. Hope you all enjoy. Later. Alright guys, Balls Hog here. I decided to like do a little playthrough, but I'm going to like skip parts and everything. This is like my first game on Battlegrounds. So here at the start I'm just going to like mess with the settings a little bit because I was getting some really shitty FPS for like the first two or three games I played because all these shadows and everything was just oof. Hey, the game is awesome. I love this game, but when it's got shadows on, oh my god, it just it destroyed my computer. But my computer is also like a four or five year old computer, so it's due for upgrade. As you see here, I'm just messing with like the full screen on and the resolution and all that to see where I can get better FPS at. I believe I ended up just sticking with regular full screen on. I think I took it down to low, yeah. Well, I put it on high here, but I take it back down to low before I start because, yeah, I can't deal with that. Or do I, I'm pretty sure I took it back down to low. Might have had it on me. Nah, there we go. Yeah. And where it is. First thing, this is pretty awesome. I like this aspect of it over like H1Z1 where it just drops you. I don't know where you're getting dropped at. You don't know where you want to fly to. Go. This right here gives you the ability to look around and see where you're going before you even drop. To me, this is fucking awesome. If you see one coming up or something like this, this just shined out to me. I mean, I guess because I like to know where I would like to go. Now the first thing here, I killed this dude, and I'm just looking at his inventory. You wonder why I'm not showing me killing the dude because the game like froze up like three or four times during the fight, so I was like, yeah, no, I'm not even gonna show that. Cause like again, when I was getting in gunfights here to start, I had like one to five FPS. Like it was just, oh, it was ungodly horrible with the FPS on me. But I got all the stuff out. Like, the inventory looked cool. Now I'm just gonna run up here. Well, we'll skip ahead, should I say, to when I'm out of there with all my loot. Now I see a vehicle, and I'm like, oh man! I'm supposed to go for me a ride, boys! We gonna get in a vehicle and see how this goes. That's the first person, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> Pretty cool, though, the red dot. I like that. Now, at this point, I didn't realize I could just hit Control-1 like on H1Z1 to switch seats. I was like, what the fuck? It won't let me drive. I was like, that's weird as fuck. I'm trying everything, hitting buttons, everything at this point. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, let's just try switching over here. And I'm like, oh, there we go. Now we can drive it. Gee, that's neat. And unique that you can, you got to get in on the driver's side. Like I'm just so used to H1Z1 where it just automatically puts you in the first seat available. 
I don't know if that, I like that about H1Z1 where it puts you in the first seat available, but this is more realistic, and if there's something I notice about this game here, it's going for way more realistic than H1Z1's arcade style of gameplay. Two different games, they're both great. I love this one and I love H1, so I don't know which one I would. This one here has a lot of work, but I can guarantee you I will play the shit out of Battlegrounds when it comes out. Just give a pass on that looting, because looting takes me so long on this one, because you gotta bend over and loot and everything. So. And then you see, like, right there, how much green froze when I was trying to open the mouse. That's what it does when I get in fights on, like, the first two or three videos. So I just decided to drive the fuck around for the most part of these things. I like the vehicle mechanics, man. Like, look how they just look so smooth. This one I flip later on, not in this video, but in another video or another thing. I'll, I'll flip that vehicle and again H1Z1 you got the where you can flip it back over this one here once it's flipped it's done you ain't flipping it back buddy again more realism which is cool I like that a lot I like how it goes from the forest into this nice vast desert area too like the way the map's made up is just so good you like look at how like again, like this is like a desert. If you just remember right back a second ago, we were in the forest and it moves out into the desert. And this is what is called the med kit on this game. You got a med kit, bandage, and a first aid. The first aid and the bandages. Bandages heal you up over time, I think is what it is. The first aid takes you right to 75. And then the med kit is the only way to get back to 100%. So... You see here, I'm like trying to figure out a way to get this med kit. And I'm just now noticing I got a bunch of junk in my inventory. So <laughs> I was like, well, okay then. So now we got our two med kits and all this goodies. If I was smart, I would have used one of those first aid kits before I came riding around here. But I do get me a nice little run over kill here, even though the run over kills don't count towards the kill count. I like the fact that you can just touch somebody and run them over and kill them. That was a pretty sweet to me. I had to run from somebody here. That's why I'm like, I'm really low life now. I took that dude's that I killed Doom Buggy and that Doom Buggy's really low life now because of the dude on top is blasting. It seems like it's really hard to hit the people in the vehicles. But man, when it comes to driving something, this Doom Buggy is fun! It is incredibly fun to drive this Doom Buggy. At this point, all I'm doing is like just driving it around the circles. But, there's another point in here where it's a lot, well, not a I got another video that I'm I'm gonna put out a few more videos. I got a good bit of clips on this game. I'm trying to go by like games or two games. So this one here made it over 10 minutes with just one clip. I figured I'm gonna try and keep them around 10 to 12 minute clips so you can watch them and enjoy them. But yeah, this this Doom Buggy is just fun to drive. It is incredibly fun to drive. There's other clips you'll see where I'll have this doom buggy flying up in the air. It's like, it makes you feel like you're really driving a doom buggy. Now, here's the problem with driving. <laughs> you can't jump out while moving. It's pretty cool that you can't jump out while moving. I, I like that. I wish H1Z1 had that as well. But. Again, this is more realism versus arcade style. So, if you jump out of a moving vehicle on this one, you're dead, brother. And then I love the ability to just spectate. Like, I miss spectating games so much. And, like, you could just spectate all around. You have to go in through doors, though. 
This weapon here is like the strongest one. It's an M16. I can't remember exactly the name of it right now, but it's a version of an M16. There's the bandages. You just fly around, look all around. Pretty neat. You can see where you died at. Skip a little bit more forward here. Trying to, I'm going to come out here and start looking for the wall. You see the blue wall over there? I don't like how the camera moves so slow, but it's still okay. Like, you don't got the speed up like you did in H1Z1 Spectator. Still early stages. I'm sure they'll add something like that. See here, you can come up to this wall. This wall is pretty deadly. I, I would say you can live maybe a minute on earlier walls I didn't try it out much but I did hear some people were like stacking med kits and living outside the wall and sniping people in the like the lower the smaller circle walls all right guys hope y'all enjoyed that video like I said I'm gonna make two or three maybe even four more videos of the playthroughs depends on how long they are I'm gonna try and keep them around 10 to 12 minutes I don't want y'all like watching these super long videos but anyways hope y'all enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe if you did I'm loving this game later guys